power, electrical power. Three formulas to start with. Let's start with the basic one. Power equals V times I. Where we have the voltage, the current, and power. Voltage, we already know, is measured in volts. Current is measured in amps. And power is measured in watts. may see power in this format it can be used and very useful in a triangle and actually would get you out of a lot of problems again finding out for instance if someone wanted to know how much current a shower would draw then this is a useful formula so if you want to find the current it is power divided by volts which is more often than not the case manufacturers tend to give you information measured in power which might be remember in kilowatts. There are two other formulas to introduce you to for power. Um, just so you know how they, they came about, we can do power equals V times I, which is our standard formula. However, from Ohm's law, we can do V times, and we can replace I with Ohm's law. So remember, from Ohm's law, I equaled V divided by R. So we can replace I and put V divided by R in. And what you end up with now is V times V divided by R, which V times V is effectively saying V squared over R. So we end up with a power formula of V squared over R. And this one is our second power formula. V squared divided by R. Our third power formula, we start with power equals V times I. But what we can do this time is replace the I from Ohm's law. So V from Ohm's law is equal to I times R. And we can replace this V with that. So therefore what we end up with is I times R, which is this bit, and then times by I again, which is that one there. So we end up with I times R times I. Well, when we multiply it, doesn't matter what order you multiply things in. So we can put these two together. I times I is basically saying I squared times R. And that then is our third formula. So power equals I squared times R. These are our three power formulas. It's important to note that this formula here works on DC only. This one will work on AC and DC and this one will work on AC and DC. A third power formula we start with power equals V times I but what we can do this time is replace the I from Ohm's law. So V from Ohm's law is equal to I times R. And we can replace this V with that. So therefore what we end up with is I times R, which is this bit, and then times by I again, which is that one there. So we end up with I times R times I. Well, when we multiply it, doesn't matter what order you multiply things in. So we can put these two together. I times I is basically saying I squared times R. And that then is our third formula. So power equals I squared 
times r. These are our three power formulas. It's important to note that this formula here works on dc only. This one will work on ac and dc, and this one will work on ac and dc. Power total. Here we have a simple circuit again. Series circuit R1 and R2, a voltage total or voltage supply of 100 volts and IT. Remember, at this stage, it doesn't matter whether it's AC or DC, all of these will actually work. So this one will work on DC only, but until further notice, it'll work on anything. This one will guarantee to work on AC and DC, and this one will guarantee to work on AC and DC. So let's pick one of these and we'll work out the power total. So we'll start with the first one, which is probably the most common one that most people tend to remember, is power equals volts times current. Right, it's power total we're requiring, so power total, therefore it is voltage times the current. So the only voltage we know, and because this is the total, this has to be the total, and that has to be the total. So if we look at these figures, that's 100 times IT. IT we don't know yet, so we need to calculate what IT will be. So let's do the calculation first. IT is equal to the S over RT. So remember, this is Ohm's law. Ohm's law, 100 divided by RT. But we don't know what RT is, so we need to calculate RT. RT, remember, is R1 plus R2. So if we put these figures in, 35 plus 15. So we now know the total of that resistance is 50. This 50 can now go into this one here. So now RT into VS 100 divided by 50 gives us 2 amps. I'm keeping the numbers simple. So 2 amps can now come in back over here times 2. And if we calculate this one out then, this therefore 2 times 100 is not 100. Two hundred watts. So that's the circuit with V times I. Let's see if we can use this one, which we can. So power total is V squared over R. Because it's power total, this must be VS and this must be RT. It must also be totals. So VS is 100 squared divided by RT. Well, we've already calculated it. And we do this as a calculation, and it will come out to be 200 watts. This can also be done with this one up here, I squared times R. So I, so it must be IT times RT. So IT squared times RT. So 2 squared times 50 is also 200 watts. So all of these formulas will work, it's just they may require other things to be calculated.